Fuses are widely used in cars, trucks, and just about any electronic system you can think of. Although these may seem simple at first glance, there's actually a lot to know about this little guy. Hey, I'm Blake. I'm from the order desk here at Greg Distributors. And in this episode of Gear Up With Greg's, we're going to dive into the shocking world of automotive fuses. Automotive fuses are a sacrificial component in the electrical system of your car or truck that are designed to blow or open to stop the circuit in the event of excessive current. These may be caused by adding aftermarket electronics like off-road lights and sound systems. Though this might seem daunting, it's easy to tell if an automotive fuse has been blown or not with a quick visual inspection. A thin strip of conductive material is contained within a safety shield. If the fuse reaches its breaking capacity, the fuse wire will melt and separate, which can be seen through the transparent sheath. Let's say you've accidentally blown a fuse. So how do you go about replacing it? Hmm? Well, whatever you do, don't throw away that blown fuse. There are different types, sizes, and amperage ratings to be mindful of. And knowing what to look for sure helps. At Greg's, we carry automotive fuses from Pronghorn, Dynaline, Grody, Techspan, and Busman. Let's see if we can identify this fuse together and find the correct replacement. Automotive fuses are color-coded with the amperage rating shown on top, though the color coding does vary from one type to the next. This rating refers to the maximum amps a fuse can withstand before it fails. There are six different types of fuses you might encounter, and each type comes in a range of different amp ratings. The most common type of automotive fuses are blade fuses. First introduced in 1970, Blade fuses can be found in virtually every car on the road. Most blade fuses are designed for 12-volt electrical systems and follow the standardized DIN color coding system. Blade fuses range anywhere from 1 to 80 amps. Next, bolt-down fuses need to be secured to a fuse holder using a bolt, screw, or nut. These are ideal for battery and alternator circuit protection with ratings as high as 800 amps. Then we have cartridge type fuses. These rectangular fuses offer increased time delay and low voltage drop protection. Cartridge fuses are designed to withstand higher temperatures for longer periods of time. So they are perfect for higher amperage circuits like alternators and starters. These are also color-coded for easier identification and provide protection from currents ranging from 15 amps to 120 amps. After that, we have glass tube fuses. Although they are no longer used in the automotive world, you might encounter one in a North American car that was built before 1986. Depending on the diameter, these fuses are rated between 1 and 60 amps. Fast blow glass fuses will pop as soon as they reach their braking capacity, while time delay glass fuses can resist higher temperatures for a short period of time, like a compressor fan kicking on. There are also two less common types of fuses you might have in your car, Bosch and Lucas type fuses, which are found in older European cars. Now that we know all the types of fuses, I think it's safe to say we have a blade fuse on our hands. But I'm still not 100% sure which size this blade fuse is. So I think we still need to do a bit more research. There are four main types of blade fuses. Micro, Mini, Regular, and Maxi. The smallest are the micro blade fuses, which are commonly referred to as ATR or ATL styles and are available with either two or three metal prongs. The two prong or micro two fuse has current ratings of five to 30 amps. While the three prong or micro three fuse 
has a rating of 5 to 15 amps and is designed to protect two different output circuits from a single power source. Power flows into the Micro 3 fuse via the middle prong and out via the two outside prongs. Slightly larger than the Micros, the Mini Blade fuses come in two types, commonly referred to as APM or ATM style. These are the most common fuses seen in modern vehicles. They are available from 2 to 30 amps and also come in a shorter, low profile option. Regular or standard were the first blade fuses designed by Little Fuse and are commonly referred to as APR, ATC, or ATO style fuses. They are still found in many cars and trucks today and have a current rating from 1 to 40 amps. Finally, we have the large and in charge Maxi or APX blade fuses. These are used in heavy duty applications and will have a current rating between 20 and 100 amps. For maxi fuses, the DIN color coding has two key differences to take note of. They are gray rather than clear at 25 amps and brown instead of bluish green at 35 amps. Well, that solves it. Our mystery fuse is a 15 amp mini blade fuse. Good thing I've got my handy dandy Greg's catalog here and it looks like I've got lots of replacement options to choose from. If you're looking for a quick visual to see which is the blown fuse, consider the Easy ID LED illuminating fuses that light up to indicate a fuse has opened, allowing you to quickly spot a fuse that may be tucked away under a dark dashboard. It's really easy to replace an automotive fuse. Old one out, new one in. To make this even easier, you may want to consider a fuse removal tool. This handy tool makes it easy to remove fuses and has the added benefit of incorporating a tester that works on both blade and glass style fuses. Keep in mind, if you have a fuse that is blowing repeatedly, you'll need to identify the underlying problem or the same fuse will continue to fail every time you replace it. A blown fuse will usually mean minor electrical problems like your lights or radio not working or your check engine light might even turn on. If you replace a blown fuse with one that is a higher amperage than required, this could also cause wires to melt and cause a more serious electrical issue. I hope you're as amped as I am about all this fusinating information. If you want to know more about our extensive offering of automotive fuses, take a peek at our catalog. I always carry a spare. Or head over to our website at gregdistributors.ca We've got legendary customer service, so give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out. I'm Blake, and thanks for tuning in to our 100% Canadian content on this episode of Gear Up With Greg's. <laughs>